Holy mother of pearl. Where did all these houses come from? And it's not just in our market, but we're going to talk about that a little bit later. Inventory, it's on a run, but will it be enough to calm prices? Because, spoiler alert, for the upcoming monthly market report video, it might have been cold outside, but the market was hot. In this video, we're going to go over the single family and condo markets in the state of Massachusetts. And we're also going to do a quick interest rate update. And we'll also talk about some relevant current events. Another crazy weekend. I'm having PTSD from one open house this weekend. There were so many people in it. The house backed into a swamp. 700 grand on the North Shore. I can't imagine how far over the asking price that one went for. Then another house in Denham on the market for $700,000, sold for $872,000. Nice house, but nothing special. Two questions which will have to be played out. The first is, will this new flow of inventory continue? And the second is, will that inventory be enough to equal the demand and not send prices into that nosebleed stratosphere? Oh, and I think the Fed, they're going to be more likely to increase rates than cut rates. But more on that in just a moment. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb, a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent, and I've sold more than a thousand homes. If you have any questions in regards to the real estate market, then know I'm here to help. Oh, and if you know of an ugly or unwanted house and people are looking for a cash offer as they don't want to deal with the hassles of the market, then please pass along my info. We buy houses all over Massachusetts. Have your friend, family member, or random person that you met on the street visit us at cashoffer ma.com also if you're thinking about selling your house and want to save tens of thousands of dollars then we now offer a one percent selling program instead of the so-called standard of five and six percent let's jump into the single family market stats and it looks like we have the spring inventory build up on us it's not uncommon for the spring market to start earlier than we have um, when we have little to no snow now inventory was up this week to 2939 single family houses on the market in the state of massachusetts we now have 2.3% more houses on the market than we did just 28 days ago. But the story to be told continues to be the inventory year-over-year -year comparisons. After starting the year with the second lowest inventory level in history, we now have leapfrogged over the inventory levels of 2021 and 2023 and are now at inventory highs compared to the last four years. Now, that is kind of a choke because inventory levels are still at a historic all-time low. Last week, we had 13 fewer houses on the market than we did back in 2023. And this week, we now have 82 more houses on the market than we did compared to 2023 and 807 more than compared to 2022. Now, this is really some great news if you're a potential buyer in the marketplace. Frankly, you need a lot more of this, like a lot, lot more of this. Why is inventory building? It's because of a surge in new listing activity. We listed 898 single family houses this week. That is 105 more units or 13.2% more than the same week in 2023. Make it a five week streak where we have listed more houses than the same time period in 2023. And that four week rolling average is 640 units. Now this really shows you that this week we came in hot historically. There is always a week over week pickup this week, but this was just some great new listing activity. Meanwhile, homes that have gone under agreement continue to well, just plug along at the levels that we saw back in 2023. We had 680 houses go under agreement this week. Now, this was seven units or 1% more than the same week last year. 673 single family properties went under agreement. Now that four week rolling average is 682 units. So that's pretty much right in line with what we have been seeing. Now I would expect under agreements to see a bit of a surge next week with all this new listing inventory that we're seeing coming on the market this week. So when compared to last week's market, new listings were up over 13% while under agreements were up by just 1%. There were 607 single family houses that closed last week for an average sales price of $736,000 and a median sales price of $600,000. Sales levels compared to the same week last year were up by 2.9% as there were 590 single family homes that closed this week last year for an average sale price of $692,000. Lots of inventory. This is how we determine what type of market we're in zero to five months. That's considered a seller's market. The closer you get to zero, the stronger and more aggressive of a seller's market that it is. Now, this week, months of inventory, it actually jumped quite a bit to 1.47 months from last week's 1.31 months. The 1.47 months this week is compared to the 1.31 months this week last year. Real quick, it's my shameless plug. I just wanted to mention that if you are thinking about buying or selling a home, then it would be a true pleasure to help you. Now, onto the condo market. 
we have 1,945 condos on the market as of Monday. This is 8.9% more than the inventory levels on the market just 28 days ago. We now have 148 more units on the market today than we did today last year, and 407 more units compared to the inventory levels of 2022. The 148 units is another inventory gap high for the year and builds on last week's record high. Again, you can thank the uptick in new listings for this additional inventory, not a decrease in sales levels. There were 497 condos that came on the market last week with that four week rolling average of 367 units. Now the 497 units was 58 units or 13.2% more than the 439 condos that came on the market this week back in 2023. There was an uptick in condos uh, going under agreement as well. This week, we put 374 units under agreement. The 374 units was 47 units or 14.4% more than last year's numbers when we put 327 condos under agreement. Now that four week rolling average is 331 units. So 13% more listings that came on the market when compared to this week last year while selling 14.4% more condos. There were 350 condos that sold this week for an average sales price of $673,000 and a median sales price of $518,000. This same week last year, there were 321 condos that sold. So sales levels were actually up by 9%. Months of inventory, that one jumped as well to 2.41 months from last week's 2.19 months. This is compared to the months of inventory levels up 1.98 months this week last year. Now, the last time that the condo market had months of inventory that was higher than what we have today was the first week back in 2023 when it was 2.44 months. Condo buyers, this is amazing news for you. Any chance you can do me a huge favor? Can you hit that like button right down there? Believe it or not, it just helps play with that YouTube algorithm. It makes a huge difference to me as well as the channel. And subscribing, if you're liking the content, quite frankly, that one really doesn't hurt either. So I appreciate you considering subscribing. Time to talk about interest rates though. Interest rates were down slightly this week. At this point, let's happily take whatever we can get here. Now I say this without seeing a single article or a single person having said it, but I'm starting to think that another rate hike is more likely than a rate cut. I know, crazy, right? Just completely take the rate cut talk off the table at this point. It's not going to happen in May, and I don't see how it happens in June either. And I can say with certainty that it's not going to happen this month. So just forget about rate cuts at this point. Inflation, it's not going. It's coming back and traders are starting to see this writing on the wall and they're preparing for it. Go take a look at gold prices, which wiped out all time highs recently. Or how about Bitcoin? Take a look at that run. And it makes sense. The increase in interest rates, unsurprisingly so, have done little to slow the economy. We still have 9 million job openings. Jobless claims remain low. The unemployment rate, that remains slow too. This is what happens when you print trillions of dollars a year. Rates will have to go higher or the government will have to stop printing money in order to get inflation to get down to what would most of us consider is an acceptable level. Now, I'm going to put my money on the Fed having to increase interest rates before the government actually gets, I don't know, responsible and stops printing money to pay for their bloated budgets. Now, it isn't just us. Check this out. U.S. new home listings jump the most in three years. Yes, inventory is increasing like it does every spring. It's the rate of the increase that's beginning to raise some eyebrows. Where is all this extra inventory coming from? And most importantly, where are the people that are selling? Where are they going? Like, are they upsizing or downsizing? Because if so, they're still absorbing another unit from the marketplace. It's just really an interesting market. A gentleman actually called me to ask if I would buy his house and save him from foreclosure the other day. I was excited to do so, but the issue was he was reaching out after the foreclosure had happened. And in Massachusetts, you can't rebuy a house once the foreclosure happens. So sadly, I couldn't help him. Here was the interesting part of all that though. The house was a $2 million house. The current state of the economy, it's affecting everyone and it hurts. Want to talk about your own personal real estate needs? Again, it's Jeff Chubb. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a home in the next nine or 90 days, it would be a true pleasure to chat with you and just talk to you a little bit more about your real estate goals. And if you know of anyone that's thinking about buying or selling a house that I truly appreciate. You just passing along my contact information 
you where they can visit youtuberealestateagent.com or find all my contact information in the description below right down there. Until next time.